Hey guys, welcome back, and oh god, look, it's my face! How magical is that? So this is going to be a very, very short video, um, kind of just a, a bonus kind of part to the uh, the Asteroids tutorial series. I'll call it part 7.5 or something silly. Um, mostly just to cover a very, very tiny, tiny little um, change that's like a little too complicated to include in like a full part video. But um, it's something that would be beneficial to the game overall, so it's worth us covering. And it's mostly just an excuse for me to do a really short video just to kind of test out this magical face cam thing. That I don't know if I will do a lot or very often, but it seemed like a neat thing to try out, so I'm just kind of, kind of, kind of trying it out, you know? Mostly it's just going to make it really easy for you to guys to see when I make really obvious cuts from one bit to the next. Anyway, so on to what this video is actually about. Um, at the moment, with the game as it stands, when you run the game and you fly around little asteroids... Uh, this little asteroid shooter man, and you shoot all the asteroids, and you blow them up. Um, they, When they respawn, we set it up so that the asteroids spawn in spawn away from the player, right? So if they would spawn on top of the player, then the game goes into like a little loop and says, oh, okay, uh, while we're spawning on top of the player, spawn somewhere else at random and we'll keep doing that until it finds somewhere that's not the player, yeah? Which is obviously quite sensible, so you don't just like get stuck, like, you don't have asteroids to spawn on top of you and kill you, yeah? But there's a slightly better way to do that and a few people asked about like how, how to go about doing it. Um, and that way is to just check to see the distance between the asteroid and the player rather than just saying oh are we like on top of the player it's a surprise I didn't really do this the first time around but there you go so at the moment we say uh, while we're colliding this is in obj underscore asteroid in the create event by the way um, while we are colliding with the player on create if you know, which would be never if we didn't collide with a player when we spawned, then set our x coordinate y coordinate to a new random position in the room, okay? Um, instead of doing that, what we're going to do is say, while distance to object, open bracket, obj underscore player, uh, is less than 100, and then randomize. Okay, it's a slightly faster command and also means that um, it's in a bigger area and doesn't start the asteroid super close to the player, which would also be almost, if not just as unfair, as spawning the asteroid smack on top of the player, okay? But there is a problem with how we set this up, because if you remember, the smaller asteroids currently inherit all of their code from the larger asteroid. So at the moment, if I go and destroy an asteroid, you can see it spawned a little asteroid like miles away, like all the way up there. Um, we obviously don't want that to happen, so what we need to do is just kind of split this code up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to copy this code. Here, yeah, the image speed equals zero, image index equal random, direction equal random 360 speed and stuff. Right, all the stuff that we want the, the little asteroid to inherit. Okay, and I'm just going to create a create event inside our smaller asteroid in obj underscore asteroid underscore s. Create the create event. Uh, drag in execute code and just paste that back in, okay? So because it has its own create event now, it won't inherit the create event from obj underscore asteroid, which will do all of this stuff. But we've given it all the stuff we wanted to do anyway. So now that will work fine, and we'll notice that our asteroids won't spawn anywhere too close to the player now, rather than just just not spawning directly on top of them, you know? Which is a very minor change, but is just, you know, a little quality of life thing that will make the game just generally feel a little bit more fair in general. Uh, generally a bit more fair in general. <laughs> Me and repeating words, man. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching that. Um, I don't know how this face cam thing will work out or if I'll continue to do it or if it really changes anything about the nature of these videos. But look, I can wave my arms around and stuff, so that's, I don't know, kind of. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Any comments, suggestions, or whatever in the comments below. Blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you guys in the next actual part, part 8, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys next time.